How you doing today? Doing really well. How are you? Good, good. What's your name? My name is Ian. Ian Graham, correct? Yeah, yeah Ian Graham. Cool. And uh, where were you born? I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, which, Oklahoma. Yeah. It's a little far from Mercer County, New Jersey. Yeah, a little far. Uh, How did you end up in this uh, side of the Yeah, I took a job at a church when I graduated. I was 23 years old, or 22, when I started at, at a church working with high school students. And uh, yeah, I've been here ever since. We love it. We love being close to the beach, love being close to New York City, and mm -hmm. I guess Philly sometimes. Okay, our friends who are we'll say 10 and under are going to go up to class, all right? We have A thing struck me last night. My uh, Our oldest daughter, Evie, has this way she's figured out. She does this to Courtney and I. If she asks really deep questions, she can get us to stay in the room longer at bedtime. <laughs> and some of our babysitters and our loving <laughs> and Molly have experienced this, no doubt, where it's like, how did God make the world? <laughs> but the question she was asking last night was, how big is God? Mm -hmm. I was like, what do you say to a child? Like, I, I don't quite understand that. So she, she started asking, is he as big as this? And I just said, he's at least that <laughs> The first week of starting Ecclesia, did you have any real worries or where where did you start at, you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the most like existential worry is, will anybody come? Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Will anybody show up to anything that we're doing? Uh, yeah. and, and so, yeah, I think that's the biggest fear. It's just this feeling of you're, you're untethered. You don't have, there's no building, you're meeting in your house, you're counting on people to to be able to kind of give up a lot to be a part of this. And so, outline that process. We'll have like a monthly connection that, you know, kind of is like a, a coffee. Hey, here's, here's what the life of the church is. Here's what we're doing here. Where we, and for me, it'll be a really great point to say to some people, like, if you've been involved in church for a long time and you don't like to, you don't like to participate, this probably is not going to be the place for you. Uh, just to kind of make them, make sure they know that. Um, but also to say, okay, like if you're interested in getting more involved, here are the next three steps for you to, like here's three options, that kind of thing. So I think that's so important yeah. to be able to say, so we'll have a pathway, uh, and you could read my white paper, which would just bore you, of like, <laughs> here's how we're moving people from the front door to being somebody who could potentially be a leader, somebody who is yeah, a fully important. devoted follower of, yeah. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. What are some of the like main steps take to take um, when actually building a church? Yeah. So I, the the biggest two are like how are you going to pay for it? Um, you know, any, any organization has costs associated with it, and so there's the there's the financial side of it, and then there's where are you going to get people. And so those are the two main ones that are really the focus of, you know, when you talk about church planting, uh, um, you know, it's, we, we tend to think it's awkward talking to people about money, but I think when you believe in the vision, you know you're not asking people to fund you and to, to pay you, you're saying, we're trying to build something. Yeah. And here's some of the logistics that are going to be required for that. Um, the people side of it is the other side of it that's kind of kind of crazy and nebulous because the question becomes where do these people come from that are going to be a part of this church exactly and finding the right people yeah you know and it's so much like finding the right people finding people as I was kind of talking about before that can see something before it's fully formed mm -hmm. for me it's too it's finding the people that are just you know looking for community looking for something to belong to um, looking even to make the world a better place mm -hmm. and for us you know we want to focus in on how can we help uh, children uh, in our area, in Mercer County, uh, flourish and thrive? How can we support kids in the foster care system? How can we support kids getting school supplies? How can we support kids who are food insecure at home? You know, for us, that's a that's a mission that even if you're not a Christian, you're saying yeah to. Like everybody wants kids to succeed and to thrive. You could say just one thing to people starting churches right now. What what would you like to tell them? Um, I would say just, just our, our God is love, so uh, love people. 
love, love your community, love, the, love what makes it unique. Uh, you know, a place like central New Jersey has lots of characters and characteristics that make it really beautiful. Um, and so start there, uh, start with the pain of your city, uh, find where people are hurting, find where their needs are not being met. Uh, because the love of Jesus is not an idea, it's not uh, a concept, it's tangible. The word that God speaks becomes flesh. It, it moves into the neighborhood. And so be a presence, be, be near to the pain, and serve people and listen.